I'm lucky, I'm hoping. It's Baldy Chris, and this is an hour of instant indie. I'm being beset by technical troubles today. Um, when I was recording this earlier on today, my internet cut out after about 20 minutes, thus spinning the stream. And uh, I did go back to it, hoping to be able to stitch two things together to make an hour. And um, then got a copyright issue with the music in the second part of the recording that I did. Um, so I ended up just deleting both bits. I've dropped the music volume down to zero, so that shouldn't be a problem this time around, and I'll still be able to talk over it. Uh, and then I tried starting it just now, but the game basically just seemed to crash during the tutorial phase. So I'm going to go straight into the tutorial, and hopefully we'll see what's going on this time around. Okay, that appears to have worked better. Um, so we can go into the next tutorial now. I don't know that I've actually said what it is I'm introducing on my third time lucky. Anyway, it is an hour of instant indie, like I say, and we are currently um, halfway through volume two of the instant indie collections. And the game in question is Pumped BMX, or Pumped BMX Plus, by the look of the actual title screen. Um, on its own, this would cost 7.99. The bundle that it's in is presently 19.99 on the UK PlayStation Store. Um, let's go do a spin. Slow spins are worth more points. I need to do a backflip now, so. The controls seem simple, and to some extent they are, but it is very easy to start getting confused as things go on. There we are, quite a tame trick that one, at least on the computer or the PlayStation. Mess that up. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, I did the wrong trick. Pretty sure I, I pushed the stick to the right. I also failed to land it properly as well. It's doing a tail whip rather than a decade. I don't know why. I don't know why it's crashing on landing either. Did a bloody tail whip again! Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm pressing R2 instead of R1. Because I'm a doofus. There we are. It was far, far simpler than I was making it look. There we are, 6,000 point trick, not bad. Okay, pay attention to the terminology that's used there, because otherwise you'll forget, and I don't think there's a guide to this uh, later on. I 
I don't know why that's crashed there. I'm pretty sure I had the landing sorted. What does it actually want me to do? Ice pig. Ice pick is on the back peg. Let's go. And the manuals aren't vastly different to um, ice picks and nose picks, except that you're on a more solid surface than just on a, a rail. There we go. That now deems that the, the trophy is complete. The trophy, the tutorial. Yeah, the, the trophies. The, the trophies you would potentially think are related to, you know, you, you might ordinarily get one for completing a tutorial in some games or an introductory sequence. Uh, in this one, um, you've got five different difficulty levels, uh, little collections of levels altogether and you might think that completing local would get you a trophy it doesn't um, there's some very very specific trick sequences that you need to do and completing those will get you the vast majority of the trophies in the game um, there is one for completing a total of I think 500 challenges um, I'll go into local it'll be more apparent what the challenges are um, so there's four challenges well, in fact 12 challenges on on each of the levels, uh, one of which is complete the level, um, is always the <laughs> the base level one, and um, they're grouped into easy, medium, and hard, even within the different difficulty levels of the the game. And uh, you'll have a specific trick that needs to be done, so a bar spin in this instance, fairly simple one, hit a certain point total overall, and a certain individual trick point total as well. Let's see if I can manage this one on easy. You'd like to hope I could, especially with all the false starts earlier today. There's my bar spin. So, did I get everything? I did get everything. Like I say, fairly straightforward on the easier levels and the requirements have now gone up a bit for medium but essentially it's still the same sort of thing i've just got a different trick to do still quite an easy one to pull off uh, and higher points targets so i shall restart that there's the double bar spin and a really stupid trick there but did the job and more of the same now, so as opposed to a double bar spin, I need to bar spin, pause, bar spin. I'm sure it makes a bit of sense. But let's try that. Bar spin, pause, bar spin. Didn't quite land it. Might have paused just that little bit too long. And yeah, managed to pull off uh, the individual uh, target items there as well, which was quite handy. Um, so yeah, so I have actually played this before. Um, a friend bought the the bundles at the same time as I did, or we, we, we both have the bundles anyway. I think, I think it was actually in different sales. He got a slightly better deal than I did. And he recommended this one to me because it was like Trials Fusion, which I'd spent quite a bit of time playing um, last year, I think it was. And they are similar, it's a push bike instead of a motorbike. With trials, the object is ultimately to get to the end of any given course, and there's a series of checkpoints along the way. There's no checkpoints in pumped BMX, um, so you've just got to have a run that you finish every time. The checkpoint is the finish line, uh, and they're much, much shorter courses. Trials also had an emphasis on the overall speed with which you did it, or how many faults you did as well. This one you don't get any faults you have to finish the course to to complete it uh, and like i say no checkpoints in between times as well no emphasis on time but yeah we'll have a little look anyway it's it gets harder than it sounds it can get quite complicated in fact so let's have a look at the the next of the levels didn't actually notice what it was it wanted me to do specifically so 
So anyway, I got to the end of the, the level. I managed to <laughs> fluke my way through the, the point requirements, but I didn't do a tail whip. Uh, let's just have a little look at the tricks menu to see exactly how you do a tail whip. Okay, right stick to the right. I'd like to think that was easy enough. There we are, so I can literally just sit out the rest of the the level. All I need to do is get to the end of this one. You don't have to do all of the, the challenges at once, you can do them individually. And sometimes that's the best way to go about it. Um, I think usually focusing on the specific trick that needs to be done. So I've got a bar spin, which would be push left and push right. Uh, so I should be able to give that a go. Okay, maybe try and build up a bit more momentum first. Landed it that time. Okay, so uh, I did most of the challenges there, but I didn't get the overall um, total score um, requirement of 11,000. So let's do another run where we try and do something a little bit more adventurous. Maybe not quite that adventurous. There we are. Managed it that time. I uh, don't know if you saw, but repeating the tricks was generating lower scores for the, the second time that they were done as well. So you can't just perfect one trick and keep doing it and hope to, to clear the level. Right, what do I need to do? Bar spin to double tail whip. Um, so pretty similar to what we had before. And I completely muffed the, the trick there by pushing in the wrong direction. Didn't quite land it. Did land it, but <laughs> sadly not well enough. Whoops, pulled out a Superman by accident there. finally landed it um, and pulled off the individual trick score requirement but not the total trick score requirement so let's try and remedy that let's try and remedy that again yeah that last trick scored quite high absolutely burst through the the score requirement for the overall level there so uh, what's what's on the next level then it's probably best to uh, to try things the way I'm doing it being very methodical and doing easy medium hard on each of the levels as well simply because you do need to to learn the tracks a little bit particularly as you go on at, at this level it's not too bad but later on you will need to to learn how best to actually take the track on if you want to get to the end of it um, and it's easier to do that if you just stick with the, the same track uh, until you you've done all 12 of the challenge requirements so backflip on that one backflip should be nice and easy you'd think there we go kind of went a little bit feeble at the end of an otherwise good run but it was good enough to hit all the the score requirements then along the way right what's a backflip turn down is that just where in real life someone goes do you want to do a backflip on a bike and i go no thanks it sounds a bit dangerous uh right so right stick downwards whilst doing a backflip 
I think I can manage that. I can. Whether I've got enough momentum to reach the end of the level is a different matter. Okay, so, yeah, just need to bump up the overall total in order to tick off the 13,000 point requirement. Ooh, heavy landing there. And there we are, managed it. Not by much, but I managed it. So, a 360 backflip turn down. I'm trying to remember this, so I need to pull R2 at the same time. I do the trick. I did not get that. <laughs> really got enough momentum there to be doing a 360. Or maybe I have. Annoyingly I started doing a spin on the ground there which was a very silly thing to have done. Okay, so I did everything but the trick I meant to do. 360 backflip turn down. And the turn down is a downwards pull. Right. Let's try again. Completely messed up the buttons there. Again, didn't quite manage it. I think I must be pulling a, a diagonal rather than a, a downwards on the button there, on the on the joystick rather. That was the right trick at last. Of course, start showboating and realise I need to actually clear the end of the level. Um, so yeah, that's unlocked. Um, one of the further difficulty stages. So if, I don't know actually if going back to main menu is exactly what I wanted. Oh yeah, you've got choose style, which is where you can do different customization. Um, that's rarely something I'd bother with in a game. Should probably make him wear a helmet though, safety first and all that. Let's, let's make his bike match the helmet at least. That that makes more sense, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, if we look at the the levels, I've now opened up the flow levels um, without having completed all of the local levels. Um, but I will go back and do the local levels. As I say, it makes more sense to to do this. And I really didn't check what the trick requirements were here. Um, a manual, manual being just rolling on the back wheel. That should be that should be easy enough. Let's go. There we are. There's a manual. score any individual trick highly enough or the overall score was a little short of where it needed to be as well. And that 
was looking good right up until the point I didn't have enough momentum to clear the last hill. Mistake I nearly made again, but that should have taken care of the challenges there. So this time around it's a bar spin into the manual, so I think that'll be right at the start of the level um, before I actually land on the back wheel on the um, platform. It's not it's not a rail and it's not a ramp, it's a platform. Perfect, apart from not landing. How about that? Yep. So, uh, bar spin, nose manual, bar spin. I don't know if it will be possible to get that done at the very start of the level or not. Um, I'll give it a go though. Uh, except I forgot to do the second bar spin. Not quite. Okay, I think I might need to wait till later in the level because I don't seem to have enough momentum to do it. Though there didn't seem the ideal spot either. Annoyingly there isn't a button to actually do a restart, you have to wait for it to make you restart. I think I got the trick in. And unfortunately didn't make it all the way to the end because it's trying to be too clever. was the, the target's trick done, so let's just get to the end of the level. There we go. Uh, so that was, the, that was all the hard ones done. Marvellous. So, what's the next level? Uh, a manual to a manual. So, yeah from back wheel to back wheel which will make more sense when you see the level there's the, the first one there's the second one face plant taking care of all of the requirements there. So nose manual to nose manual is the specific trick. Um, obviously going to be doing it in the same place. Whoops. 
Yeah, that was perhaps a little bit ambitious trying to do a, a big trick onto. onto a rail rather than a ramp. Um, again, again. Completely forgot to do a nose manual to start with. There we are. So it managed to tick everything off there. Um, so nose manual, tail whip to manual. Um, again, I'm going to be trying to do it in all the same places. I'm just going to double check how you do a tail whip, which is a right push on the stick. Nope, completely messed that up. <laughs> perfect if I'd landed on the back wheel. So, took care of everything I needed apart from the specific trick that was required. Let's give it another go. Not quite. There we go, that was it. So I just need to finish the level now, don't need to bother about getting a score requirement at all. Ooh, could have definitely done with landing that bear because now I'm not going to have the momentum to do that bit. So let's try and focus on getting some momentum in there even if I'm not doing any tricks along the way. But yeah. So I've unlocked another set of levels as well, even though I'm not yet done on the first set of levels. I've got uh, the first three difficulty levels unlocked. Okay, what's next? I wonder will it be easy like Sunday morning? I have my doubts. A 360, that sounds simple enough. There we go, 360. Nearly fluffed it at the end. Now, annoyingly, um, I've scored 33,000 there, uh, which is far more than is needed for the medium level difficulty, but it doesn't count it. You have to do it in the correct difficulty setting uh, to, for it to count. So, what have we got? A 360 table. How do you do a table? Uh, just an upwards push. Okie doke. There we are. So, yeah, again, I mean, I've set an impressive high score compared to the actual score requirements. So I'm getting on for three times as high as the score requirement, but it's not having any of it. All right, 360 bar spin into table. Bar spin is the left push. I think I can manage that. That was the trick requirement, just didn't land it. That wasn't quite right. Now, annoyingly, that didn't count because I did a 360 double bar spin. So, let's try that again. <laughs> and I did a double bar spin again somehow.
There we go, finally. Can be quite... Oh, of course I need to land it and finish the level as well. Which I keep forgetting. Uh, yeah, it can be quite tricky to not um, sort of travel through a diagonal when you're trying to move the right stick. So you can accidentally put in far too many types of tricks and overcomplicate it. Um, so yeah, it can, can be a tricky one to get, get done. But we have now done all 12 of the challenges for Sunday morning. What's the next level? A front flip. So yeah fairly simple to execute really there we go front flip done front flip done front flip done let's do another front flip just for the sheer hell of it so managed everything apart from getting a 5000 pointer in there Just need the momentum to actually carry me through to the end of the level now. Some of these early tracks, it's not too bad, but later on you have some really quite big distances to cover between ramps, and if you haven't got the right momentum, you just won't make it. So, Superman, how do you do a Superman? Up and left. Okay. No, that was not a Superman. That incorporated a Superman, but it was not a pure Superman. And apparently, even combining tricks by accident wasn't quite enough to generate 6,500 points for any given one. So let's just try something a bit mad. Once I've got some momentum going, that is. Now. There we go. I did not see how many points I scored for that last one, but it was clearly enough. A front flip Superman. That also ought to be fairly straightforward to achieve. There we go. care of all the requirements there as well and yeah just completely freestyle button mashing so pull a few things move in a, an odd direction see what happens and that is basically my technique for getting through some of these easier levels okay a 360 old school i can't remember how to do old schools Uh, up and to the right, and 360, yeah, okay. There we are, got the trick out of the way, early doors. But absolutely nothing like enough momentum to get up there. So it's still on the first group of of levels as well. I thought maybe it had gone up to the, the next difficulty rating, but it hasn't. Yep, yeah, see what I mean about needing to get the momentum right to make it to the next ramps? Definitely didn't do it there. There we are. So I think I did pull off the specific trick. I did. Um, which was enough to get the individual trick score, but not the overall trick score. Um, not the overall score. So, need to do that again, but try and throw in a few moves along the way. There we are. 
720 old school so it's more or less the same as what I've just done but I need to do two full rotations so that's probably going to need to be left to a good bit later in the run that was the required trek and that was not the required face plant And that's clearly never going to work. So I'm just going to land him on his head. Yeah, not getting the momentum right here. No, it's messing with the run. That was the required trick hit the points the, the trick point requirement um, but not the overall point requirement so let's give that another go and throw in some more shapes along the way didn't actually throw in any shapes there and too many there is it don't think you, oh you no you can't do a, a restart of your own you just have to wait until you mess up and that was clearly messing up If anything, actually, had too much momentum there because on the U-shaped ramp, the second U-shaped ramp, it's getting too much momentum and landing in the middle of it rather than on the slope, which kind of stalls the overall momentum for the run. Landing on the lip of the ramp certainly stalls the momentum for the run. just about creep over the last one uh, oh, oh there is a restart button it's the square button that makes life a little easier absolutely nailed that landing sadly it doesn't count <laughs> okay was that enough of a total score not quite needed 18,000 got 17 and a half but first one I actually finished for a while should do the trick there we go and as I said earlier absolutely smashed the 23,000 that's now required but it doesn't count so let's just try and finish off this section that's never going to do Oh, 
Oh, that was very lucky. <laughs> I did not think I'd nailed the landing there, but it did get me to the end. Um, so, I still need to do 720 old school to table. Old school up and to the right, table's just straight up. Let's see if I can manage that somewhere along the way. Heavy, heavy landing. I uh, completely fluffed what trick I was trying to do. That was the required trick. Pity about not finishing. leave the the actual trick until the last ramp just to make sure I actually maintain the momentum complete mess of it There we are. That was the required trick. Or was it? No, I only did a 360. Damn it. Again, again. And somehow that was a lot of tabling rather than old schooling. Lost the momentum there completely. And annoyingly went into Superman instead of Table and failed to land. That was the required trick. That was not. That was it, my word. Right, now that little bit that I've just unlocked actually makes a lot of difference. It would have been very helpful in that level to be able to generate some extra boosts off the, the bloody ramps. Um, and yeah, from this point on, sometimes you do need to specifically do one or the other. Um, and, and, and yeah, sometimes either one might work. Sometimes you need a very definite particular one. So, there's quite a lot of stuff to remember in any given bit. Um, let's have a look at the the level select. So we're actually fully done with all the, the ones in the local bit. Yep, so 100% complete there. It's, it shows one star, that's just the difficulty of those um, those tracks, not how well I've done. <laughs> I've, I've hundred percented those, not one starred them. Uh, so have a look at the, the two-star ones in flow now. 
So an ice pick, which was a front wheel grind, is the trick to focus on, first of all. There we are, there's an ice pick. There's another one for good measure. Did it not count me? Did or maybe it's a back wheel grind. Maybe I got that wrong. Oh yeah, so it's a nose pick is the front wheel grind. Let's do that again. There we go. Ice pick. And fall off. It's still not considered that I've done a bloody ice pick. I'm sure I've done an ice pick. There we are, ice pick. Okay, so now I just need to put in some actual decent tricks to hit the overall score total. Maybe ones that I land as well, that would be helpful. Keep forgetting there's a second platform to land, rather than a set of ramps much much easier to land on the ramps still not quite 15,000 oh no no I've done it 15,000 is my new score requirement so bar spins were 50-50 50-50 is just a flat landing on a, a rail that should be easy enough there's the bar spin didn't actually quite do it <laughs> I landed on one wheel rather than both. There we go. I think I put it in on the second rail rather than the first. So again, just need to up the overall complexity and hit the higher points targets. And maintain the momentum as well. very good apart from keeping enough momentum up okay somehow managed to pull off the requirements there All right tail whip to manual to 50-50 Remind myself, tail whip is to the right. That's tail whip to manual. Don't know where I'm going to get in the 50 50. Oh, there's the manual. There's the 50 50. Done it. And yet again, need to throw in some more complex tricks, but I've got the required one out of the way, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. Do need to worry about landing and finishing.
There we are. Somehow I did some very high value tricks in there. Uh, and that was oh, that was the hard set of, of requirements as well. Right, let's have another look at the next level. Uh, a cliffhanger. I have no idea how you do a cliffhanger. Um, it's now one of the harder ones. So cliffhanger R1 and back left or up left. Right. Give this a go. Well, that looked pretty, didn't it? Let's uh, focus on actually getting to the end of the track now. Yeah, just about forgiving enough to let me get to the end. So did I not manage to do a cliffhanger there? I'm sure it did do a cliffhanger. to make sure I get to the end. There we are, there's the cliffhanger. Right, a backflip cliffhanger. More of the same, but turning. That was it. Ooh. You can get over there. Oh, really? Oh, I had one more jump to go as well. That was a complete mess up. As was that. Backflip cliffhanger. Right, let's just get to the end of the track now and see if the other bits and pieces add up. That was a nice trick. There we are. Sometimes the flow just works and, and takes you there. And when you've got really big air going, you can pull off some crazy score tricks. All right, backflip cliffhanger into Superman. How do you do? So Superman, oh, it's basically let go of the R1 button. Backflip, cliffhanger into Superman. Let's give it a try. Completely forgot the backflip. Not quite. For some reason I'm hitting bike flips instead of supermans. the right trick. That wasn't. <laughs> that was the correct trick. Now, give me some momentum. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, 
Okay, yes, there we are. That's taken care of those. Right, I'm conscious that it's running up close to the hour, and it's the whole point, uh, an hour of indie. So we'll go to... Um, instead of the flow tracks, which I was just on, go to the, the am tracks. And you'll see that these can get quite a lot harder, um, just in terms of reaching the end. If I a quick look at how you do a kick out. So that's a downward pull, right. Let's see if I can manage this. Well, there was a kick out. A kick out for sure, but not enough momentum to reach the next ramp. And again, not enough momentum to reach the ramp. So you can see, yeah, you need to start hitting everything very perfectly to actually get the required momentum. Even that wasn't right. And this will never make it now. You like to think you can just mash a button and get a little bit more oomph into it, but you can't. Okay, so those all appear to require forward momentum rather than the upwards. Still not quite enough. Okay, well I did at least get to the end. I thought I'd managed a, a kick out, but apparently I didn't. Give that one more go. There was a kick out. And that would have been wonderful if I'd actually pulled off that landing. <laughs> and didn't quite crest that last hill or at any point pull off the required trick that's neatly parked, what's wrong with that? Again, a, a nice bit of parking, I think. You can see it can get quite finicky trying to get this right, so I'm landing slightly too far forward on that second ramp, actually. At times, so that was too far back. Yeah, that was too much into the flat of it there. And 
somewhere in there I did a kick out, but I did a few other things as well somehow, don't really know how. That was just wrong from the start. There's the kick out. Can I finish the level? Can finish the level well off the overall score total that was required and that was just the easy requirement. So yeah, you can see that it can be quite tricky to, to pull off some of those things and that's only on the 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 midi medium level of difficulty there. The quite awkward level select there actually so that was only on the, the am tracks I think when I was first playing this I got all the way up to the pro tracks I'm not sure I did any of the legend ones but it started becoming very very difficult to to actually hit the, the requirements along the way just getting to the end of a track was proving to be fairly challenging um, because you need to get the, the momentum just right in terms of how you leave a ramp, how you dive into the next ramp, um, never mind throwing any tricks into the middle of it as well. So it did get quite challenging and I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier about the trophies. Uh, the trophies largely connected to pulling off specific treat trick sequences rather like the individual challenges within the, the any of the given levels um, and then uh, another trophy for completing a total of um, 500 challenges I'm not sure how many I've done there um, but I still need another 57 to even unlock the the pro tracks I'm guessing 500 is probably all of them and I think it'd be very difficult to achieve indeed um, but yeah um, as a sort of low budget um, alternative to the trials games it's not bad um, it's it might be worth eight pound of your money to get the game individually it's probably more worthwhile getting it as part of the overall bundle at the 20 quid um, which is the, the current price on PlayStation Store or if you can manage what I did to get somewhere in the region of an 85% discount during the sales and then it'd say it's definitely worth it certainly worth an hour of your time um, to have a, a crack at it hope you've enjoyed it we've got someone watching us there hello someone um, if you've liked what you've seen have a look on Twitch. Uh, give me a follow on Twitch. I'll happily follow you back. Um, I'll be moving on to the Swindle um, as the next one in the Instant Indie Collection um, when I'm going through doing an, an hour of each of the, the 15 games that are there. Um, also, you can uh, look me up on YouTube under the username Baldy Chris, uh, where there's plenty more content like this and um, lots and lots of Enter the Gungeon as well. So if you want to subscribe on youtube like share and comment and, and all the good stuff go right ahead i'll be ever so grateful but that's it for this episode so thanks for your time and take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye for now